You're looking at a 1920s suburban house in North Oxford. It was my childhood home, and it's now home to my family of three. That's me, Raffaella, with Benjamin making apple crumble. And that's me, Tobias, pretending to read. Now, had you asked me 20 years ago to describe my dream home, this is the last kind of house I would have pictured. But when you live in a one-bedroom flat in Dalston, and here it is, you jump at the opportunity of taking over a four-bedroom house with a garden. We started out with quite modest ambitions, but it soon became clear that a complete refurbishment of both floors would be best for us and for the house. The back of the house is south-facing and enjoys sun throughout the day, so we constructed new openings between rooms to create a series of interconnected spaces to benefit from the changing light. And we are proud to say that we only changed one window, lowering the sea level of the former kitchen window made all the difference to our enjoyment of the garden. We didn't want our new space to compete with the scale of the original structure, so we installed sliding panels, which could return the rooms to their original proportions. And this gave us a new challenge, how to decorate the panels. After endless deliberation, we settled for a William Morris wallpaper in different tones, the green and golden leaves to connect with the garden, and the blue leaves of the hall to link with the front room. We wanted to choose materials and details which weren't too refined and would sit equally comfortably alongside inherited antiques and IKEA furniture. But we still found ourselves spending hours designing the kitchen door handles. This house won't find its way into architectural history books, but we rather like it. Ah, oh, come on. I would say we love it. <laughs>